हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ बिलाल खान एंड यू आर वाचिंग सिंप्लीफाइड कोडिंग वेलकम टू अनदर लेसन इन जेट पैक कॉम्पोज क्रैश कोर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ यू कैन यूज जेट पैक कम्पोज इन अ फ्रैगमेंट और इन एन एग्जिस्टिंग फ्रैगमेंट और इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज जेट पैक कम्पोज विद योर एग्जिस्टिंग एग्जाम ले आउट्स देन दिस पार्ट ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट so this is the same project that we created for this jetpack compose crash course and in the last video we learned how we can use this mutable state list of or how we can remember the state and in this video what i will do is i will create a new fragment and because i am going to create a fragment i will remove this component activity from my main activity and i will use our old app compat activity so i will write here app compat activity like this and i will remove this set content from here and what we need to do is we need to call the set content view function and this time we will provide an xml layout file so i will write here set content view and i will pass r dot layout dot activity underscore main remember this xml file is not created so we need to create this activity underscore main dot xml inside our layout folder i can do it by pressing option enter and i will select this option create layout resource file so this is the xml file for my main activity now i will give this constraint layout an id and just for the sake of simplicity i will use a linear layout here so i will make it a linear layout like this and let's define an orientation as well and i will give it an id so let's name it content so this is my main activity and i will leave the composable functions here because i am going to use the same composable functions now as i told you that we are going to learn how to use composable functions inside a fragment so we need to create a fragment and i will create a new class for the fragment let's say home fragment or you can name it whatever you want and it is a fragment and that is why i will extend fragment and for the layout i will create r dot layout dot let's say home fragment now again we will create the layout file okay so now we are going to cover the first situation where you need to use composable functions in an existing xml file so let's say you have a fragment that already uses a layout file that is in xml and now you want to add composable functions or you want to add new ui components using compose then in this case you can use composable functions in an existing xml layout and to use it let's say i have this xml file and just for the sake of simplicity again i will use linear layout but you can use it in constraint layout as well so this is linear layout and i will make the orientation as vertical and let's say we have something already inside this fragment so i will quickly design something so let's say we have this text view in our home fragment and now we want to add some more ui components with the help of compose and to do this you need to add one more xml tag here and that is compose view so whenever you want to use compose in your existing xml files you need to use this tag that is compose view and you can set your attributes let's say i'll use match parent and match parent and this is my compose view i will give this view an id let's say the id is compose underscore view so this is the id for my compose view now i can use this compose view to render my composable functions and to do this we will go inside home fragment and here we will override the function that is on view created so i will override on view created and when the view is created what i will do is i will find my compose view from the xml and to do this we can use the traditional function that is find view by id so what i will do is i will write view dot find view by id and i will pass the id of my compose view 
so i will pass r dot id dot compose underscore view and because it is a compose view i will cast it as compose view so i define the type here now in this compose view i can call the function that is set content and here i can call my composable functions inside this trailing lambda for example i will call the function that we created in the last video and that function was user card so now i will run the application to see if it is working or not so let's run it but before running it we need to attach this fragment in our main activity then only we can see this fragment so let's go to main activity and here what i will do is i will call support fragment manager and then i will call begin transaction and then i will add my fragment for the first parameter i will pass r dot id dot content that we already created inside activity main this is the content and for the next parameter i will pass the fragment that i want to display so i will pass home fragment here like this and finally i will commit it now we have added the fragment to our activity and now we can run and see the application so let's run it so here we can see we have this xml part and at the bottom we are using our composable function that we created in the last video to render this user card so you can see how we can use xml and compose view together so if you have an existing project where you want to try composable functions then you can use it like this you do not need to create your complete project from scratch but in your existing applications you can try compose little by little you can create some new modules using jetpack compose so this was our first case when we want to use composable functions in an existing xml file but what if you are creating a completely new fragment so if you don't have an xml file for your fragment then you do not need to pass it you can use composable view for the whole fragment and to do this i will delete this on view created function and what i will do is i will override on create view so i will write override fun on create view and this function returns the view that we need to render for this fragment and here what we will do is we will write return compose view and for the compose view we need to pass context and to get the context i will use the function require context and then we can call apply and here we can use set content function to set our composable functions let's say here i will pass user card again now in this case i am creating a fragment that is using jetpack compose so if i run the application i will see the same output but this time i will not see this xml part so let's check it so you can see we are getting our output so this is how you can use jetpack compose for your fragments so that is all for this video friends i hope you found this video helpful and learned something if you have any problem or confusion you can leave it in the comments below and i will try to help you out so finally if you like this video then please hit on that like button subscribe to simplified coding if you are not already a subscriber and please 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 share this video with your friends so thanks for watching everyone this is belal khan now signing off